Alright, what's going on everyone? Today we're playing a sort of experimental, fun, casual deck. As you can see by the fact that I have like two copies of lots of things, because I'm testing lots of things, but the concept's very simple. We're built around Mondrak, Glory Dominus. This is a 4-mana four 4-4. Four, four. If one or more tokens would be created under your control, twice that many tokens are created instead. So, for example, if we play... Join the dance, which adds two tokens. Mondrak will double that and put four into play. So we're playing a lot of tokens matter stuff. We've got one copy of Skrull's High. We've got Resolute Reinforcements. We've got Wedding Announcement is huge. It makes multiple tokens. And what's so great about this and Adeline is uh, they can help trigger Mondrak the turn you play it. Because one of the problems with this card is it's four mana four four. But when you play it on turn four, it's hard to also generate a token on that turn to get value out of it before it gets killed by the opponent but if we have wedding announcement it'll pop out a token if we have adeline it can attack make a token which will get doubled and also if crawling chorus dies that token will also double some other stuff we're playing Lunark Veteran is just a sort of a, a staller. We're just trying to stall out. It gains a life whenever a creature enters. It might gain four or five life by the time Mondrak and, and Rabble Rousing come down, which is the idea. We also have Queen Alina. Has power and toughness equal to the number of creatures we control. That's very good. And if one or more creature tokens would be created under your control, those many tokens plus one are created. So just another way to make extra tokens. So if we have Queen Alino, uh, Alino, whatever this is, uh, when it's on the battlefield and we make like a token with this, it's going to make two, so that's pretty cool. We also have Rabble Rousing, which is kind of broken. Uh, whenever we attack, we make that many 1-1 one -one tokens. If we attack with four creatures, we make four. If we attack with seven creatures, we make seven. That will then be doubled by Mondrak. So if we attack with four creatures, for example, it would put out eight tokens. Also has Hideaway 5, so we can get a free card. And at the top end, we have Titania's Command, which it will let you create two 2-2 two, two green bears, which is great with Mondrak, because that's... Uh, eight power we can make four of those and then we can put two plus one plus one counters on each creature uh which can just be game ending basically yeah that's the deck pretty simple is this deck good i don't know but it's been pretty fun so today let's have some fun with this stupid deck our hand is fine i think turn two a hive and a turn three wedding announcement is very good i didn't change the lands huh whoops all right opponent's playing boros so, I will play Scrub's Hive. Still playing Boros, still not playing anything. Lunark Veteran, by the way, also gaining one life to make up for the one life we lose from this is also nice. But uh, we're going to play Wedding Announcement. And that's going to be it for now. Four mana. Fable. Interesting. All right. We got five lands for Rival Rousing, so that's good. I think I definitely want Lunark Veteran. And I definitely want to play Join the Dance. Gain a couple life. I think I don't attack. Because next turn we play Rabble Rousing, and the more creatures we have in play, the better. If they can wipe my board, that sucks. But, there's no board wipe here. Rabble Rousing is going to put tons of tokens in play. We'll see what happens. Tax for two. I think I just take it. I could double block it and kill it, but I just want more tokens. Okay, there is a board sweeper. That sucks. But we could just remake a new board. So I could play Rabble Rouse. Like, it's probably better to play this. Great. And now we have uh, eight power on board. So that's good. All will be one. So this could be a combo deck that just kills me, like, instantly. Alright, make a 2-2. Make a play a land, play Rabble Rousing. We will hide away. There's Mondrak, so I'll take that, I guess. Attack with all of these. So we have tons of creatures now. If they take all of this, it could signify that they have a board sweeper coming. But they could a 14. Actually, I guess they'd block if they have a board sweeper. To save two, two life. Wedding announcement, sure. Okay, get another token. Well, there's the Mondrax, so I'll just play that. That makes this one kind of useless, but that's okay. And now these are all doubled. Um, I'm not going to play that. And that's it. Uh, so, th th that's what it does. There's the deck. Kind of dumb.
This hand is trash. I'm gonna mulligan it just because I'm offended. This hand is better. You will put uh, this on bottom, I guess. I'm gonna play the top land first. All right, could be soldiers. Well, we drew land, so I guess I don't need to then. All right, we will. I should have played Re Razor Verge Thicket though, but that's fine. So probably soldiers. I mean probably soldiers. It's literally the tribal soldier land. So it's, it's soldiers. Going to play the land. Thalia. That sucks. That's like the worst possible thing. No attacks. Because I can't play this now. And Razor Verge Thicket comes into play tapped because I didn't play one turn one. No blocks. Oh. <laughs> Everything's so expensive. Alright. Gain a couple life. No attacks. Muriel, sure. No attacks on them. That's that's great. All right, uh, play this tapped. Play Adeline. Gain alive. No attacks. Sun Gold Sentinel, sure. All right, well I definitely block that. So we'll do that. All right. Rabble Rousing would be great if I could, uh, if I could play that. No attacks. Get a 1-1, one, one, gain to life. Go to 22. I mean, we're kind of holding on. One more land and we're great. So we can play this. Get a million, uh, million tokens. No. So I believe we no attack. No attacks. End the turn. Get another token, gain another life. I mean, our deck's gonna be better the longer we hold out, right? Because we need to, we need to set up. We have lots of setup stuff, so it's fine. I'll play this. Gain a life, get a token, gain another life. Another Lunar Veteran. I'll just play that. Gain a life. Hmm, yeah, no attacks. Get a token. Gain two. Now everything's big. Sure. So they're, the the danger is Harbin, right? That's also very good. So I need to be a bit more aggressive now with that. With that there. But, uh, there's our land. Great. That just, that fixes everything. So now we just attack... Uh, I will take a Mondrak, please. I will attack with all. Make a million tokens. Gain a bunch of life. Play Mondrak. Yep. Great. Go to 50 life. So, 52. Not in danger of dying. Next turn we get another Rabble Rousing. Rabble Rousing is the best card. I think I'm only playing two of them. I I might want to go to three. Maybe four, because Rabble Rousing is just a game winner every time we get it in play. The, the hard part is just getting into play, of course, but when we do, it's kind of crazy. They're going to draw a bunch of cards. All right, combat's happening. They kind of... I don't think they're ropes, but they took forever to line up those blocks and stuff, but they go to six, and, I mean, we're fine. We're at 52. We're probably not going to die. I don't think the opponent can deal 52 damage. They'll probably play some Brutal Cathars and stuff. Like I expect Mondrak to get exiled. Adeline to get exiled. But playing Rabble Rousing again. And getting a million tokens. Even without Mondrak is going to be fine. Sky Strike Officer. Yeah, all of this is fine. No, uh... No, what's my thing? Brutal Cathar? I mean, if Mondrak lives, it does. Oh, and we get one mana, so we can make it indestructible. Great. Oh, Rabble Rousing. We will get... A wedding announcement is fine with me. And I'm just going to attack all again. And, uh... Here goes some craziness. Opponent might just concede before all these triggers go. But it's a lot. It's a whole lot. They bounce Adeline. Sure. Alright, gain... Two here. Or four here. And then, uh, 38. Oh god, I'm freezing. Here goes a bunch of life gain. 
So I'm about to gain like 80 life or something. I don't know, it's a lot. Here it goes. Where? <laughs> Bona just concedes, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's, uh... I, I can't even see behind... Oh, I can do this. Uh, yeah, 38. Ooh, so we had 48 tokens? I mean, sure. <laughs> we out-tokened Azorius soldiers, so that's cool. This deck can be insane, but we do need some some time. Some, some setting up time, so we'll see if we get that. Opponent's got a red avatar. And that's bad for me. This hand is great, though. None of our token doubling stuff, but I mean, Lunark Veteran's great. Wedding Announcement. Two of them is amazing. So all of this is fine. I think we're going to play Crawling Chorus first. Just in case they're playing Burn with Red Avatar. I don't know if they are. Because I want this to live if it's against uh, Red Aggro. We'll see if we see a Mountain. We don't. We see the exact opposite. We see Demir. But that's okay. We'll play this. Attack for one. Great. They get a poison. Not that that matters too much. I and mean, we do have one Scrub's Hive, so it could be relevant. Um, I don't know if Wedding Announcement's going to resolve here. I think I... Well, let's attack for two first and see what happens. I think I'm going to play Resolute Reinforcements end of turn. This is probably a control deck. Esper. Interesting. I will play this end of turn. They counter this. We will resolve a uh, Wedding Announcement, which is... What we really want. Alright, that resolves. Interesting. So, gain a couple life. Do we see a uh, cut down? Perhaps? I don't know what they cut down. I guess Lunark Veteran. Alright, gain two. Draw a Skrell's Hive. Well, I can pay two if they have uh, Make Disappear. So I probably play that this turn. Attack for four. Yeah. Alright, if there's a Make Disappear, we can pay for it. Great. And the, uh, the toxic creatures will have lifelink because they have, uh, three poison. Which is not the point of this deck, but that works. Leyline's binding. Well, they're tapped out, so we'll get a wedding announcement down. That's pretty cool. Alright, wedding announcement. We will attack. They go to nine. Alright, well, <laughs> they didn't see much there, but that works. Just carefully playing around the control deck. This is almost good. I need one more land. We are going second, so maybe I have a chance. There it is. Great. Alright, play a tap land. These sleeves are interesting. I really like these, actually. These are pretty cool. Don't know where these are from, but they're pretty cool. Alright, storm the festival, and what is all this? I don't know what this is. Um. So. I'm just gonna play this. Just gonna play this. It's fine. I don't think I'm gonna double block. With Resolute Reinforcements. So there's no point in trying to surprise them. Maybe this will keep them back. It will not. Alright, I'll take the two. Urborg Lurgoyf. It's always fun to say. Um, I can just kill that. If I was going to kill it, I should have played this instead. So I'm just going to just gonna feel bad and do this instead. No attacks will draw. Or make a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I should have played the tap land. Killed the Lurgoyf. That was the play. Uh, no blocks. Okay, Skyfisher Spider. Destroy target non-land permanent. Alright, uh, that's fine. Untap land. Um, yeah, I want to play this. This allows me to play two, two drops. Um, probably... Start with this. And do, uh, this. And attack for three. Great. So now I just need some sort of token payoff. Because I have, I have these, right? These are pretty good. That's Bloom Ritualist. Adds a bunch of mana. So I'll play this tapped. I will not attack. Plan to play these. End of turn. So it taps to add six. That's kind of crazy. So Storm of the Festival. Gets a bunch of stuff. Play this. I thought it was the end of their turn. It was not. Maybe now they won't attack with the 4-4 though. Alright, we'll play another one. There's Rabble Rousing. Alright, well, the problem solved. Play this. I will take 
I mean, Adolene's nice. I think wedding announcement's probably better. Attack with all. Make a giant pile. Whoops, I almost hit decline. Play this. So, th like, <laughs> we're in a pretty good shape. I wish I had Lunark Veteran again. I wish I had Lunark Veteran, but it's fine. Mondrak, oh my god. So we need to survive this turn. We have 16. They've got a lot of power. They've got a lot of mana. But Mondrak will double the Rabble Rousing uh, tokens, which is kind of crazy. It would make 24, 24 one ones next turn. Mondrak's crazy. I mean, it's a, and it's on a four mana four four, right? So that's what's so great about it. It's crazy and it's a four mana four four. Sure, that's a nine ten. Transforms. That's scary. Okay, am I dead? So we put four here. That's still eighteen. So I need to put three. In front of something. Alright. I go to one. A Lunar Veteran off top saves my life. They go to 29. Blanchwood Prowler. Sure. Not what I wanted. So I'll play this. I will attack with all of these. Make 10 tokens. It's not enough, though. Sure. Goes to 25. Another Mondrak. Storm the Festival. Sure. Old Rustane. Okay. Yeah, the, the Ovenwald Behemoth giving Trample is um, what's made this difficult. Because I can just chump forever, but... The trample ruins my life. Well, I'm going to do this either way. And then we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight here. And we'll do four, five here. And we'll do one, two, three, four uh, here. And then I die. That's a cool deck, though. If it wasn't for the trample, we would have been fine. Or if I had drawn a Lunark Veteran. So close, even though they're at 25 and I'm at negative 16. But, you know, we were doing okay. It was just a trample that killed us. Alright, this is fine. Scrub's Hive on 2. This on turn 3. Seems alright. Swamp. Sure, I'll play this tap. Not necessary, but whatever, it's fine. It'll save me from accidentally playing the wrong land, potentially. You know, for this, because it's very specific what it needs. One is playing black-white. Two basics, so it's hard to say exactly what they're playing. Another basic. Interesting. Alright, so. Probably play this and expect it to die. That's my, my expectation. Yep, immediately looking at their hand. Alright, that's fine. So, that's, I mean, it's annoying, but it's fine. They didn't do anything. So that's good for me. I will play Join the Dance. Attack for one. Great. Get a poison counter. Is there a board sweeper here? A uh, drag to the bottom, maybe? Depopulate. That also works. I'm um, sure. Get another token. Wedding announcement is fantastic against Sports Sweepers, so I'll take that. And we will pass. They play something, I have Faithful Absence up. So, that's fine. Uh, they do. Alright, my turn. Mondrak is pretty cool. I'll play it. It can get indestructible, so that's good. Attack for two. Attack for two of these. Um, I want to draw. I want to get a sixth land for this. They lose a life draw. Oh, I had... Oh, no, I drew that end of turn from Wedding Announcement. I was going to say, I forgot to play that. I didn't have it when I could play it. Um, sure. So I will pay for life. Sacrifice these. So it's indestructible. Sure thing. So now I get two tokens. Another Wedding Announcement is pretty cool. So I'll play this. 
I'll play this. I will attack for four. They go to 12. Now I get a bunch of tokens because they're doubled, right? So I get four and I gain two life each time. And now they're all big. That seems pretty good. So land off top is insane because I get four two twos and two counters on all of these. Could have a board sweeper again. These enchantments uh, just continuously putting out counters is huge against control decks. Maybe I should be playing more Skrelv's Hive. They're kind of scary. They drain your life. Um, Lunark Veteran helps with that, but you're not guaranteed to draw it. All right, my turn. Get two creatures. Get two life. Do we see a land? Oh, it's a tap land. It's the worst possible thing that could happen. Um, is it worth playing this? I don't know if it really is. I will attack first. Do they have a way to exile it? That doesn't... It's It's got indestructible, so I just get two tokens. I get two clue tokens. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was a mistake. I mean, they're dead, right? <laughs> How much damage are we dealing? A whole lot. Alright, so. That's the deck. Is it good? The answer is, it's very explosive. It's very crazy. Um, But it is very vulnerable. It's probably not good on the ladder. But it's fun. Does some stupid stuff, so... That's cool. So there you go. That's this weird Celestia Mondrak tokens deck. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.